Hello, my name is Troy Gray. I'm the director of Spindletop Cloud City Boomtown Museum in Beaumont, Texas. And today we are in our last building. This is the uh, Broussard's Undertaker and Livery Stable. And uh, we, there in here is a lot of uh, oil field equipment. There's the coffins, there's uh, wagons. Uh, today, our object of the week is the yellow dog Derek Lantern. And this was a particular type of lantern that was popular during the late 1800s and early 1900s. Uh, this uh, was used late uh, for late night lighting around the oil derrick, drilling derricks, so as not to stop the process of retrieving the crude oil, because of course they were getting a lot of oil, so they didn't want to stop even when the sun set. The, the, uh, these were patented by the inventor Jonathan Dillon of Petroleum Center, Pennsylvania, and the U.S. patent was established on May 3rd, 1870. So this does predate, uh, at least the technology predates uh, a spindle top. Some lore that can be associated with this special lamp is that the two burning wicks uh, seem like the glowing eyes of a dog at nighttime and the shadow of the lamp looked like a dog's head on the derrick floor. Uh, hence the name, right? These uh, lanterns were known as the staple of any oil or energy museum to have possession of a yellow dog since it is seen as an oil field icon. Dylan stated that the lamp was intended to burn crude oil as it comes from the wells fresh and gassy. Uh, the lamps were later assigned to John Eaton and E.H. Cole, which helped establish many oil equipment companies for the next couple of decades, such as the Oil Well Supply Company, the same one that's on our uh, lantern, and the Forest Oil Corporation, which later adopted the image of the yellow dog Derek Lantern as their logo in 1916. So with all of this in mind, this invention helped with the process of furthering the ideas of inventors on what else they could create with the help of crude oil. So it's a really interesting piece. Uh, many people somewhat miss it. We do have some text panel here for it, but uh, it's one of our more interesting pieces in here. Uh, so uh, tonight, if you um, are able to, this is the beginning of the Museum Madness Weekend. So we get to begin tonight with our Spindle Talk Spook Fest. We'll have people here uh, giving out candy. We usually have games, but we're not doing that this year. We'll add that back next year. And, uh, but at, uh, after the candy, we're gonna start a movie out here. First time ever to do that. Uh, because it's Museum Madness Weekend, we're gonna show at night at the museum. Everybody loves that movie, so come out. Uh, bring your lawn chairs. We'll have some chairs out here, uh, but it should be a good night to watch a movie. And then, um, of course, the ne uh, next day downtown, you have the pumpkin walk, uh, you'll have the uh, uh, eat a bug and uh, dinosaur day, a lot of other things downtown. And then come back on Sunday night here because we have open mic and community picnic from four to six. So please come out for that. After that, we're going to have Girl Scout Day on November 6th. If you want more information about that, you can call us, but also contact your Girl Scout leader. And also November 13th is our car show out here. And then after that, we are already uh, buying Christmas lights and that for Christmas in Boomtown uh, City and Lights event. That's gonna be really cool, so keep in touch about that. Uh, we have a lot of stuff being planned, and we're really excited about it. So thank you for joining me today and learning a little bit about the Lantern and uh, upcoming events.